guys, Jordy here for Cinecam.net and welcome back to Copycat Friday. Now, there's a brand new Spider-Man movie coming out and we've already seen the trailer in which we can see this soul punch effect, which is really cool and that is exactly what we're going to recreate today inside Adobe After Effects. So buckle up and let's get going. As you saw in the Spider-Man trailer, their effect shot was shot outside. And as you can see, our weather is pretty shitty. So that's why we will be shooting inside. And a big plus of shooting inside is that you can control all of our lights. Guys, if you know us, you know that we love Marvel and all the effects that they make. But you can imagine that creating all those effects take a lot of time and sometimes the deadline is a little bit too tight. But no worries, Storyblocks, the sponsor for today's video, has our back. In their ever-growing library with more than 1 million royalty-free high-quality stock assets, you can find numerous Marvel-related effects. Like for example, a Marvel logo reveal, the portal from Doctor Strange, or his energy magic. Now, Besides that, you can find stock assets in HG to 4K resolution, various After Effects templates, but also templates for your Premiere Pro projects, epic music for your superhero videos, sound effects to go with your video, and much more. Everybody knows that filmmakers have a limited time to work on projects, and that's why we love Storyblocks. They really help us to bring our stories to life without sacrificing time, budget, or resources. They always help us to tell our story in the best possible way. A great example for this was our animate dash effect. In the build up to our main effect you can see Lorenzo powering up his godlike speed. And to achieve this effect we used various Storyblocks assets, like this lightning motion graphics pack. But they have a ton more of these cool motion graphics which we use very often. And to top that off you can download an endless amount of assets from their library with the unlimited access plan. So that means you can create unlimited superhero movies and create the next Marvel Universe. If you want to know more about Storyblocks on how to start downloading right away, click on the first link in the description below. Don't do this at home. Then why are we making a tutorial? It's unsafe. What happened, Jordy? I threw my sandwich away, and I don't know where. Oh, yeah! Blocks, cause I got blocks, cause eh? What are we going to need for this effect, you may ask? Well, two shots, both shot from a tripod and in slow motion. This is a must as we want the slow motion effect when the punch is happening. The first shot is where our talent is getting punched by another talent. Here our victim can act really dramatic. But very important, they need to remember the position of their arms and legs. Because in our second shot, these need to be more or less the same. That second shot is the shot where our victim is thrown through the air. First of all, we give our victim a different dress code, just like they did in the original effect. But in in our case, Jordi is naked. Then we attach the rope to our victim and let them take position, keeping in mind his arms and legs of course. And then we just pull them backwards making him fly through the air and that's really it. We can now open up After Effects and start our post production. First of all we're going to time remap our punch clip. We want the punch at normal speed, but once we have an impact we want slow motion. Right click on the clip, go to time and choose enable time remapping. Now place a keyframe in the beginning of the clip, one just before the punch, one just after impact and one on the end. And now it's just a matter of dragging out the keyframe frames to make the clip go slower or dragging them closer to make it go faster. How much we can time remap our clip depends on the frame rate of the original shot. We shot everything in 120 frames 
and are working in a sequence of 30 frames, so we can make everything 4 times slower. Basically the time remapping is going to be different for everybody, however making the transition from normal speed to slow motion is the same for everybody. Select the time remapping option and go to the graph editor. Here we need to make the drop between keyframe 2 and 3 gradual, which will make the transition smooth. And once our time wrapping is done, we can render out this clip. Now, you're probably asking yourself why are we rendering? Well, for the next steps we're going to need to rotoscope parts of our clip, and that isn't going to work on a time remapped clip. Now for the next step we are going to create the soul leaving the body. First of all, we imported our new rendered clip, and with this clip we are going to work. We duplicated it and rotoscoped our flying talent. This rotoscope we are going to use to place all our clones behind. Keeping our main talent in the foreground. Next is going to be our first soul clone. We took our rotoscope clip and again duplicated underneath. Now we looked for the point just after the punch. From this point we want our clip to start and we also freeze our duplicate on this point. Now it's just a matter of lowering the opacity, fading the clip in and out after a while and giving it a very subtle movement going backwards. We also removed the legs with a mask just like Marvel did and gave the clone a little bit of directional blur. Next up are the other soul clones, but for this we are going to use a different clip. First things first, we again slowed the clip down till we had slow motion. Now a tip, if you want to slow it down even more, you can enable the frame blending option by hitting this button right here and double clicking on this option. This will allow you to give your clip extra slow motion without making it choppy. We again render this clip out, then we are going to use this render clip to rotoscope the naked Jordy. And once we have him singled out, we can start with creating the rest of the clones. First is our main soul clone flying through the entire shot. We animated our cutout Jordy with the position and rotation properties going from the original Jordy to the side of our screen. Next we lowered the opacity and gave it a fade over time. We also gave Jordy a glow and a directional blur and voila our main soul clone is done and is also the foundation for the rest of the clones. The next step is creating a trail for the main clone. For this just duplicate it and remove the glow effect. Then add the echo effect, crank up the number of echoes and set the echo operator to maximum. This will blend the echoes a lot better. Now by doing this we already have a good trail following along. Then it's time for the rest of the clones. For this we again duplicate our main clone and go a little further in time. Here freeze a new duplicate and make the layer start on this very spot. Now because this clone doesn't need to fly through the entire shot, we're going to adjust the position and rotation animation. Create new keyframes for both properties on the beginning of the clip, then go one second further in time and again create new keyframes. These keyframes can then be dragged to the end of our clip, removing the older keyframes. The existing opacity keyframes we can now remove and set the opacity to 100. We're going to remove the glow effect, then select the duplicate clone layer and pre-compose it, and animate the opacity property to fade in and out. We're also going to change the blending mode to lighten, to blend it all better. Next create a trail for it by duplicating it and adding an echo effect. This time we aren't going to use that many echoes, but we still need to change the echo operator to maximum for the blending. Now this entire process of extra clones you can repeat as many times as you want. We only did it twice giving us two extra clones. For extra details we also added some extra light when the punch impact happens. This we easily did with the rotoscope layers and fading a lumetri effect. Another detail was this displacement RGB blur effect. To achieve this we used an adjustment layer with the VR digital glitch, displacement map and camera lens blur effect on it. Then we created a wide circle opening up and used this as a track mat and also as the displacement source. And that was it guys! What you need, Jordy? All right, Jordy, I'll help you. <laughs> Thanks, Lorenzo. Oh crap, I'm naked. Quick guys, click here on the video on my left side to see more superhero effects. Definitely check out that playlist and don't forget to subscribe to see us every single week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Storyblocks for the support. And as always, stay creative.